Many of the people living in the refugee camps on the Greek island of Lesvos are staying in IKEA-designed temporary shelters provided by the UNHCR. More than 10,000 of them are in use in various refugee camps around the world, and as they're replaced by more permanent structures, often they're entirely thrown away. So the Latra Innovation Lab asked me to see what could be built using the scraps of UNHCR shelters. So this is a procedural video of how to build these shelves using only components from the shelters. But the technique demonstrated in the video can be used to make other things out of the same components, like desks and chairs and beds for children. The plastic panels can be cut easily with a razor knife. Pushing down on the middle of the seam, pulling up it snaps easily and separates quickly. Rather than trying to cut along the entire outside of the pattern, just remove small squares so as not to break the corners of the remaining piece. Once you've measured and cut the first piece, save it as a pattern to trace the others. Then measure and mark along all four sides of each of the shelf pieces. This is what the final product will look like, and these are each of the measurements given in millimeters. Don't forget to leave three millimeters between the first line and the inside, and don't forget to round off the corner so that it fits into the frame. So then you'll need to crease or crimp along the five inside lines around all four sides. Lifting up slowly and gradually with a block until the flap is bent up at a 90 degree angle. You start on the inside line and work your way outwards. Once you have a crease, you push down and fold on the line until you force that 90 degree angle. If you can get someone else to hold the board, it makes it considerably easier. But you work outward each time on each of the five lines, repeating the process. Pushing down and folding, making the 90 degree angle. It gets a bit more difficult as you work your way out, having to put more and more pressure on the board holding it down so that you can make the fold. It can be done with one person, but it's a lot more pleasant with two. Rather than creasing the sixth line, you make a cut halfway through the foam with a razor knife, being careful not to score the hard plastic beneath. You wanna make sure that it retains its integrity, but then you just snap the foam down to the outer layer of plastic. Looks like this. The final product can bend up easily and has this tab at the end that folds back the opposite direction, all the way around on all four sides. So then for the frame for the shelf, you use the fiberglass tubes and the plastic connector pieces. I designed this shelf so that the longer sections of tube are one half of the original and the shorter sections of tube are one quarter of the original so that there would be no waste. So then you slip your panel upside down underneath the frame and bend the flaps around the tube. Everything's connected with the original plastic screw pins that held the shelter together. Fold the smaller sides over first to hold the rack in place until the tab lays flat against the underside of the shelf. Then with an awl or some sort of spike, punch a hole a centimeter and a half from the edge so that you can thread through the plastic screw. Repeat this process first on the other end and then in the center. Move on to the other small side, wrapping the tab around, making sure to hold the shelf tightly together. Moving on to the longer sides, it takes a bit more effort, putting in more pressure. Another place where it would be good to have a second person. Fold it in, doing both edges first, and then two in the center. 
The finished shelf should feel really tight and sturdy, able to support quite a weight. And you can see why it was necessary to cut off that little inside corner so that it fit nicely between the plastic pieces. So then you can pull out the temporary placeholders to use them to hold the frame of the next shelf. And then when you have all four shelves completed, you just slip them together over a full length piece of the fiberglass tube. When an entire side of the shelf is done, slipping it on little by little, you flip the shelf over and you push an entire length of tube through the corner of all four shelves. Then you do the same thing on the fourth corner. Finally, once you've measured and marked the shelf spacing, you drill a hole through the plastic connector and through the fiberglass tube, and then you use one of the pins and the wing nut from the original shelter to hold the thing together. The final stability is achieved by using the cable as a diagonal to make an X on three sides of the shelf. The final product is sturdy, aesthetically pleasing, and made entirely from the pieces of the shelter.